I forgot the questions. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, hang on. Ready? Ready. Okay. Hi, Yarnabees. Hi, Yarnabees. <laughs> So, this thing that's been going around on the YouTube channel. Not the coronavirus. No, not the coronavirus. No. <laughs> um, the other thing that's been going around. Yeah, the other thing. Um, the Bod Squad, the Bag of Day yeah. couple. Bod, Bod Squad. They, they have been doing this um, question uh, thing between the two of them on their new channel. And everybody else is jumping on the bandwagon to do it with their significant other or to do it themselves, just by themselves and stuff like that. So I thought it would be a good idea to do it with my significant other, Crochet B. To find out how little we really know about each other. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. Hey, but first of all, brought to you by What's in Our Cup? Club Soda. <laughs> Whiskey and Ginger Ale. It's Sunday. <laughs> Mine's non-alcoholic. <laughs> sure. Ah, although that drink that I did yesterday was really good. Okay. It what was, did you do? It was some um, vanilla stoli Ooh. vodka Ooh. with ginger ale. Yeah. Another... I meant I meant to put coke in it, and I. That's why I don't have any more ginger ale for today. <laughs> so anyway, okay. <clears throat> so explain how this is going to work. So she's going to ask a question. We're both I, going I to write down the answers here. that we think the other person is going to say yeah. and then we're going to compare. <clears throat> so when she asks the question, I'm going to turn away to write my answer down so that she doesn't see and I don't <laughs> see. Okay? Yeah. So, okay, hang on, i got to get this It's right. a series of, was it 23 <clears throat> questions? Yeah, 23, 23 questions. 23 questions. Okay, so you do, no, no, you do the, do one question on one page. Really? So, yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah. So. Okay, so we're going to write big in big letters then. Yes, yeah, so that everybody can see. All right. It. Okay. Okay. First question is. Okay, the first question is. Whoop. What's your favorite color? Sandy's favorite color. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I think I buggered that up. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. So Let's we have to answer. Out. Answer and then explain why, I guess, eh? Depends. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I said Sandy's favorite color is black. You can't see it. And the reason I said that is every damn thing she wears is black. <laughs> she has a hundred jackets. Every one is black. So I said black. What is the answer? And why isn't it black? Oh. Okay, my favorite color is teal. And the reason why I wear black is because fluffy people wear black. <laughs> my, for him, is I, it's yellow. I crossed, I put orange first because that's his second favorite color. <laughs> but it's yellow. Yellow is right, but she knows that anyway, because I've told her that many times. So. Uh, oh, I didn't write this down. Hang, hang on. You, me. So okay. I sh mine should be right based upon the evidence, but no, anyway, okay. No. So, so I got one. All right. Oh. Second question okay. is favorite genre or genre genre of music. So I get um, let's say uh, is it? Um, do we do it by like by by decade or do we like pop, whatever. rock, metal, whatever? Like country, rock, whatever. But there's right. lots of rock. There's hard rock. There's light rock. Well, there's whatever, whatever you think. Um, um. Okay, I think if I'll put what I think. <laughs> um, Can't really see this color. No, <clears throat> but but it's so that we both can see it, so that we know that nobody fudged, right? Yeah. Wow, his is a long answer. <laughs> okay. You okay. go first this time. Okay. I said heavy metal. Um yeah, I like I like heavy metal, hard rock, but I like You don't have to scream. <laughs> I like heavy metal, 
but not like the death metal with the guys who go bleh, bleh, like yeah, not that the type. Acid rock I like stuff. like um, Black Sabbath, Judas Priest, uh, where the guys, the vocalists actually can really sing, <laughs> and all of that. So yeah, that's right, and I think that was probably pretty easy for her. Yeah. So for Sandy's, I put down uh, New Wave '80s rock. Wow! Because I think that's what she wow. likes more than anything else. I. Is that wow, right? Wow, that's, yeah. That's right, okay. Wow, I'm impressed. Because if it wasn't right, I would have said, aha, uh -huh, and then, <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> uh, you know what? I was expecting him to say 80s music. I wasn't expecting him to say new wave. Like, that's impressive. Okay. I'm very impressive. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> Parts of me, anyway. Hey, stop it. <laughs> Favorite food. What I think your favorite food yeah. is. Um, okay. okay. Man, he's doing long answers. <laughs> okay, so my guess for Sandy was craft dinner. <laughs> She's been on a real craft dinner kick lately. <laughs> Is that right? I like craft dinner, but that's not my favorite food. What's your favorite food? Pho. That's not a food. That's a style of food. It's Vietnamese soup. Uh, Holy, I, I, I should I expected him to get I that. I call shenanigans. Oh, what? Sometimes she just faws once she goes out. She never makes pho at home, but craft dinner. That's because it's five nights a week, craft dinner. Pho is a very intricate thing that you can't make at All home right. unless you what know how. What did you say for me? Meat. <laughs> That's pretty generic. You like you can't all just meat. say meat. You're Actually, meat, you are the, meat and potatoes. That's it. The truth is, my absolute favorite food is lasagna. Oh, which, right. which she never ever makes me. <laughs> oh, okay. So we, neither one of us got okay. that right. There you go. <laughs> but I still think craft dinner was the right answer. <laughs> it's got to be something that you have on a regular basis. I do have it on a regular basis. Yeah. You just don't. She know has it when I'm at work, and I don't know if she's got the card. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one's easy for you. For me, um, favorite pop. Like like flavor? No, just favorite pot. You have to you have to have the brand though, right? No. Yes, you do. No, you don't. You can't just have generic like cola or whatever. You have to have the brand, proper brand and everything. <sighs> okay, just put down what you think. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll put down what I think for you. You don't really drink a lot of pop. I know. <laughs> so this but, is going to be hard for you. When I do drink pop, what do I? What well, is my favorite? <clears throat> you won't get this. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. I said Coke Zero. No. Because she has Coke Zero <laughs> with her booze. Well, that's because it's a mix. But you don't drink a lot of pop. But when you drink pop, what kind of pop do you like? Dr. Pepper. You, ne you never have Dr. Pepper. I have Dr. Pepper when we go to Subway, if they've got it. Dr. Pepper is my favorite like, pop. It says like once a year. His what did you easy. put? Ginger ale, Ginger right? Ale. What, what brand? No name. <laughs> Backyard ginger ale. You can <laughs> only get it at our grocery store. <laughs> but yeah, ginger ale is right. That was pretty easy for you. Uh, okay, so I got one. Dr. Pepper. You never drink Dr. Pepper. I love Dr. Pepper, but I don't drink pop because it's just not No, very favorite. seldom, actually. I don't like drinking pop. I only drink ginger ale to flavor my whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you drink it because, you know, it's the alternate drink. I, I do drink it, yeah. Okay, favorite animal. And you can't say dog, cat. Can't? No, like, if you do say dog or cat, say a breed. Or something. Bailey? No, Bailey. <laughs> I'll just write Bailey. That's got to be yeah. right. Um, right? Or like 
tiger, lion, giraffe, Bailey. whatever. I'm just, Bailey. Gonna, I'm just gonna say Bailey. No, I love my Bailey. Well, there you but... go, Bailey. I don't, this is it, obviously a guaranteed point. No. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm writing okay. down Bailey. Favorite animal. Oh, that's a hard one. Um, For you? I don't know. Okay. I said tiger. <laughs> That's close, but it's actually lion. I was going to put that Lion part. is the king of the jungle. I was going to say that, and I was like, no. Nah, lion is the king of the jungle, and I've always had the old lion and the young lion analogy for a lot of things. Uh. So for Sandy, I still think this is right. Now, I don't care if she argues. I said Foo Foo Dog or Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> a Foo Foo Dog. She, she likes little oh, Foo Foo Dogs. My... She doesn't like big dogs because they scare her. Except for um, Diesel. Yeah. But even Diesel made her a little nervous, so she got to know Diesel. Well, but my... she likes little Foo Foo Dogs like uh, Chihuahuas and little yeah. tiny dogs or Bailey. So... Well, with Diesel, Point. Diesel is Point. My, no wait, no. Nah. Ah. Diesel, I uh, Diesel's my grand puppy, and he's a pit bull, and I'm terrified of big. But if dogs. you didn't know him but, and he came up on you, you would be oh, afraid yeah, of him. Oh yeah, I'd be crap in my pants. But I wasn't afraid of him until he got big, right? So which was like in the second week. Yeah, <laughs> but my favorite animal is actually a koala bear. Oh, but it's foo foo dog or would, Bailey. He wouldn't. It, my favorite dog is a Bichon. Foo foo but dog. I couldn't get a Bichon. Okay. Um, favorite holiday. What's well, obviously not Christmas for Sandy. <laughs> not Christmas. Um. <laughs> wow. You're not really a holiday kind of person. I know. It's just like any holidays. <laughs> Hers would be like Arbor Day or... Oh, wait a second. I know what it is. Uh-oh. Um. Uh-oh. If I had to choose... Okay, oh, uh, I've got it. Oh, I'm scared of this. <laughs> she can't say no to this because it's true. Okay. 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 I said Christmas. Yeah. I like Christmas even though Sandy hates it. Ugh. He makes me do Christmas every year and I'm just like bah humbug. I said Halloween or Samhain. Oh, snap! <laughs> Point, right? Point? He, he, Point? He even said Point. it right. Wow, he spelt it wrong, but he said it right. Because Sandy wow. is a witch. Thank you. You're welcome. Aww. That was that was impressive. She bewitched me. Oh, that is awesome. That's why I have no money. <laughs> oh. She's part witch okay. and she's part mermaid siren. You know how you kind of oh. you go towards and then you you know rocks uh -huh. and anyway. <laughs> Crash. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, it says favorite book, but I got it. I. I got it. Okay. Um. You can't name like a whole series of books. It's got to be individual books. Oh, what? That's not fair. I know fair. what you were going to say and you can't say like all of them. That's not fair. Uh, well, that sucks because oh, I don't know what the name of all of your books are. Because um, I know what she was going to say. Well, yeah. Okay, well, I'll just have to lose a point then. You're going to say the gore books, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I've got I've got almost a whole series of gore books. I'm missing a few, but I've got almost mm -hmm. thirty of them. It's a very famous um, um, fantasy novel series, kind of like Conan. It came out in the late '70s, early '80s. Yeah. But I don't think you can. Well, it would be like well, it'd be like saying Lord of the Rings or something yeah. when there's three books. I don't know. So, in my case, I said Lydia, which is Sandy's book. <laughs> which we still have copies 
on sale if you'd like to buy some. Yeah. So it's a wonderful <laughs> book that's about a genetically modified spider that's killing people in the Peruvian jungle. It's full of lots of sex <laughs> and lots of violence. So you can have a copy of your very own order here now. Oh, here we go. So I should get Impulsive. a point for that. Isn't your own Impulsive. book your favorite book? No. Because you don't read any other books. I, I have a series. But you're not, you don't read anything. I have hard. never seen Sandy read a book. It's just that author or in the, something. No, in the whole time I've known Sandy, I've never seen her read a book. I used to read like But she doesn't everything. read a book anymore. So My, that's one for me. Okay. I'll give you that. <laughs> I used to read all the time. On sale, Lydia. Right. <laughs> Yes, if you would like a copy of my novel, autograph signed by Sandy and Crochet. Let Hoop. me know. It's thirteen dollars. <laughs> there you go. Little plug there. Oh boy, favorite pizza topping. I know. Considering I don't eat pizza. <laughs> I I love pizza, but pizza doesn't love me. Okay, Sandy's is really easy because she always only orders one kind of pizza and that's ham and pineapple. So it's pineapple or ham. Uh, okay, I'll give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say pineapple, but you know. I put pineapple first. I said pepperoni. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Well, you always get pepperoni pizza. Well, I usually get Little Caesars because it's cheap and I like the deep dish. I get pepperoni on one side and Hawaii on, Hawaiian on the other. But when I want to go all out and I get like real pizza at Panago, I get usually get uh, barbecue chicken and a New York deli, which is a, a multitude of meats. So well, I pepperoni exactly. is one of the meats, so I guess that's... I couldn't say like meat. <laughs> all right. Well, she did for my favorite food. She included all the meats. All right. I'll give you one. Oh, gosh. Favorite pastime. I wonder what Sandy's would be. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say crochet. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Ta-da. Point. <laughs> I said, working out. Um, you have no other pastime. You go to work and you work out and that's it. Yeah, I guess that's probably true. Yeah. You can't include the sports that I do and stuff. Because I would have said. You don't do sports I said, anymore. I would have said dragon boat racing or something like that. But Well, yeah, but. But I do work out even when I'm not dragon boat racing. In fact, I worked out today, which is why I look like this. <laughs> And I'm not slumping like I did in the last video where I go like this and it makes my stomach stick out. I'm sitting up straight so you can actually see that my chest is up here and not down here. I was doing okay. the editing for his Oh my last gosh, video. she made me look so fat and old and she won't even cut my hair so you got to get to see all my grays coming in. It's terrible. I wanted her to cut my hair before this video, but no, she oh my she likes to look like the young one in all of our videos, so <laughs> she wants to won't cut my hair. Whatever. Oh my goodness. I didn't have any gray hair before I met Sandy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite TV series. Hmm. I know this one. Boy, for you. Is that like of all time or? I don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> okay, boy for Sandy, wow. Oh no, it's not that. Hang on. No, no editing. Um, uh, <clears throat> nope, hang on. Is it one we're currently watching or, or of all Just time? Just any, anything. Um, Okay, so I went with what her current favorite one is. That's the only, about the only show that she normally likes to watch, and one that I knew that she liked in the past. So I kind of hedged my bets a little bit. 
<laughs> so I said the rookie, which is the only show that she that we record that she actually does watch. And the other one I said was Charmed, which is a show that she used to watch oh, all the time. Oh, yeah, the old Charmed, not the yeah, new the Charmed. old classic Charmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Charmed was like yeah, really good. There you go. So is that a good. point? Um, okay, I'll give it to all you. All right. Mine. I I started saying Grey's Anatomy, and then I changed it to Game of Thrones. It's Game of Thrones. <laughs> Game of Thrones, the greatest TV show of all time. Yeah. But Grey's Anatomy wouldn't have been anywhere close. I mean, it's uh, Game of Thrones, uh, Walking Dead. Oh, that uh, too. Banshee, yeah. uh, Breaking yeah. Bad, Better yeah. Call Saul. Those are yeah. all, yeah, all shows that I'd never miss. That's true. Right. But and he cried when he watched Grey's Anatomy. I cried when uh, they killed Glenn in The Walking Dead. Yeah. Oh, you should have seen it. I came to bed sobbing. Sandy was in bed. And <laughs> he says, oh, What happened? They killed Glenn. I can't believe they killed Glenn. I couldn't believe and it. I was inconsolable. He was, just... was inconsolable. I... <laughs> I've never seen him like that. I was in bed sick. I had my back was out or something. And he came in and he's just like, ah! And I'm like, Oh my God, what happened? What's the matter? Did you hurt yourself? What's going on? I thought his mom died or something. And he's like, ah! I couldn't believe it. <clears throat> he didn't cry that hard when, uh, um, what's his name, got killed. <clears throat> what's his name? The guy that uh, just died, the, the main character. Cowboy hat, dude. Oh, Rick. Well, Rick, Rick. isn't dead. Oh, I don't know. We know that Rick isn't dead. <clears throat> anyway, favorite fruit. Great. <laughs> Oh, okay. George doesn't eat fruit. <laughs> Crap. Boy, for Sandy, that's that could be. Tough. But if you did eat fruit, what the heck would for it be? For Sandy, oh. okay, I'm gonna say. Um, okay. Oh, I spelled this horribly wrong, but. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I said strawberry. No, oh, it's pineapple. But you always get like strawberry daiquiris and stuff. It's because they don't make a pineapple daiquiri. Oh. My favorite fruit, if I eat just the fruit, would be pineapple. Yeah, I guess so. And for Sandy, I said mandarin oranges. No. She's always wanting me to get mandarin oranges. That's only at Christmas time. <clears throat> Watermelon. Oh, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> she does eat a lot of watermelon. <clears throat> yeah. Fattening that it is. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Full of calories. Oh, yeah, all right. Favorite vegetable? Crap. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. For um, Sandy, favorite <clears throat> vegetable? Um, okay, I got it. And if she says no, then she's completely full of crap. Okay, I spelled it wrong, <clears throat> but I said asparagus. No, it's potato. I put potatoes on everything. I don't consider potato that a vegetable. Potato is a vegetable. I, I really well, what is it, a fruit? I don't... It's a vegetable. <laughs> it's the only potato I eat every day. It's the only yeah. vegetable I eat every day. I, I was thinking vegetable. It's the only vegetable. thing that got me off the keto diet was I couldn't have potatoes anymore. <laughs> This is true. How can you get that wrong? I don't consider potato a vegetable. Wow. But, you know. For Sandy, I said cauliflower because she has it almost every night. This is true. It's not my favorite though, but it it's the one I eat the most. It is the one you eat the most. My favorite is French cut beans. Oh, this is going to suck. Favorite subject in high school. For Sandy? <laughs> Oh, um, man. okay. All right. Oh, um, I don't know if it was an actual. If I get subject. this wrong, I'm really going to be shocked. And if she says no, then she's got to be lying. I don't know in your time if this was actually. In my thing. time? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put what I think you'd be good at. <laughs> I said. Debate club. 
No, it was P.E. Oh, well, okay. I didn't know if that was your favorite. Because I'm a jock. It was my favorite. It was the only thing I was guaranteed to get an A in, for sure. <laughs> He, if it was to, if he was in a debate club, well, nobody would debate me because I always win. Nobody, no one would debate uh, me when you're always right. Uh huh. Okay. So in Sandy's case, I said art. It's got to be art because she's a freaking artist. They didn't. Well, the art is a subject in school. Yeah, but in art, they made you draw stuff, and I suck at that. So you didn't enjoy art. You didn't do any painting or. No, Any I never took, or... I actually never took an took art in in school. And you can't spell debate because you said debat. <laughs> so see, it is Jim because I used to get up the bat. It was my turn up at the bat. <laughs> um, I honestly. So what did would you say? I never had one because I quit school. I hated everything about school. But it would be art. Hated. It's got to be art. If they had a crafting class, I would. But that would be art, a proper art class. Would have a crafting class. No, art's kind of different. Art is like drawing and stuff like that. It's not like um, there was like sewing class and stuff like that. But yeah. All right, I, I guess did, no I point either way. Even though I know in her case <coughs> it would have been art if it was a proper art class. But I don't. I don't draw. Okay. <laughs> oh. Favorite actor. Crap. Oh, um, wow. okay. I know for Sandy, I know. <sighs> Favorite actor. Okay. So for Sandy, I'm pretty sure I got this right. I said Keanu Reeves. Oh! <laughs> right? Right, point. Oh, I was expecting him to say Dwayne Johnson. No, it's, she has a thing wow. for Keanu Reeves. Oh, I love Keanu Reeves. It always Keanu has. So. What'd you put down for me? Sean Connery. No. No? No. Oh, no. crap. It would be a toss-up between Clint Eastwood... Um, just because I've always liked him in all of his roles from Dirty Harry on. And the person that I think is a brilliant actor and should have won the Academy Award uh, for the greatest acting performance I think I've seen in my life was Martin Sheen in Apocalypse Now. I think Martin Sheen is a tremendous actor. So, Okay. If it, if it goes on, he's the, done the greatest performance I've ever seen, but for... Length of career and movies that I've really enjoyed, it would be Clint Eastwood. Wow. Yes. What is your favorite singer? Do you have it? Well, I thought I wrote it down, but I guess I okay. didn't. Okay. Okay, so I've probably got this wrong, but I wrote down Joan Jett because Sandy is an 80s girl and she's a big Joan Jett fan and it's the only female singer from the 80s era that I could think of off the top of my head. Wow. So what do you think? Is that good? Wow. Or could you think of, who would you say? Well, it's really hard. Because you don't because have like any one signature singer, I don't think. You like a variety said, of different people, but you really are a big Joan Jett fan from back in the day. Um, yeah, but, I mean, if it, you had just said favorite group, that would have that's, been freaking... But that wasn't the question. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's actually not. So who would you say? Um, Stevie Nicks. Oh, shit, I should have got that. <laughs> <laughs> that was more like, who's the singer I would leave George for? Yeah. Stevie Nicks. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, Actually, I should have got that. Mm -hmm. I should have got that. <laughs> okay, George's is really easy. Okay, go ahead. Alice Cooper. Ooh, that's tough. Actually, when she originally said that, I had two other people in mind. Well, I was going to say Ozzy Osbourne. Yes, and Alice Ozzy Cooper. Osbourne and Freddie Mercury. But you don't talk about Freddie Mercury but all that much. But in terms of who, when you think of great singers and who's a great singer, then Freddie Mercury, yeah. in terms of his vocal talent, is a great singer. I love Alice Cooper, but I don't. It, 
I don't love him but because it wasn't who you thought because was a great singer. He like is, who who's your favorite singer? No. Um again, Alice Cooper, it's more of a it's more like saying who's your favorite group or who's your favorite I know. It's hard. It's kind of we're kind of in a similar stuck in the <laughs> same kind of I have I have more Alice Cooper albums than probably any other anything else that I own. I've seen him uh, three times in concert. He once fell uh, fell on me in a concert in 1975. I've actually met him in person. He's my all-time favorite. Um, yeah. yeah, I guess I can give you that because honestly, like, he was my Thank my you. hero and the first guy that I idolized and I really wanted to see. And it was a really interesting one of the great privileges. So at the Welcome to My Nightmare concert in 1975. <laughs> when I was 14 years old, um, Alice Cooper fell off the stage and landed on me in Vancouver. Uh, he was actually severely hurt, and uh, I had the wind knocked out of me, but we both went back, were brought back for medical attention, I got to meet my idol, which was really cool. Favorite superhero? For Sandy. <laughs> this is easy, but he won't get mine. Oh boy, for Sandy, her favorite superhero. I don't know if you consider uh, mine a superhero. It's got to be a superhero. I consider it a superhero. Oh, geez. It'll be like, you know, Bambi or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, leap. <laughs> um, you consider it a superhero? <clears throat> um, all right, well... I'll probably get this wrong, but this is who it should be for Sandy. So I said Marvel superhero Black Widow. Oh, what? You don't like Black Widow from the Avengers? Um, what are you saying? No, but you don't like her? <laughs> She's pretty cool. She's okay. So who did you say? Xena. Xena's not a superhero. <laughs> She so should she's be. She's not a superhero. Okay, if she's I a had fantasy to... character. That's not that's not a superhero. La, 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 la. Yeah, no. Okay, like like Batgirl is a superhero. Okay, Wonder if, Woman's a superhero. I, if, I, if I had to actually pick up, I guess I would have said Wonder Woman. Yeah, it would have been Wonder yeah. Woman. Yeah. Okay, one for me. No. Yeah, Wonder Woman. No. I just guessed it. You said Black Widow. Well, we didn't say Marvel or DC. You have to, you have to differentiate. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, who did you say? Thor. Thor. I am the God of Thunder. It's even on my Dragon Boat paddle. I have a picture of Thor's hammer, and it says God of Thunder. So yeah. that I am the God of Thunder. And every day I actually <laughs> wear my... Thor necklace that has that is Thor's hammer. So yeah, yeah. that's a pretty easy one He's for Sandy. It's all about Thor. Yeah. I've made Sandy Thor on more than one occasion. Stop it! Oh my god. Edit, edit, edit. Oh my god. Thor's hammer. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh, we're never gonna get no, through this. No, you keep that on. It's funny. <laughs> no, no editing. No editing. People want to know oh, the real us. Oh, God. Favorite comedian. Crap. Okay, I've got... I'll get my um, uh, my guess for Sandy. Favorite comedian. Ugh. Okay. I said Richard Pryor. No. No, not even <laughs> close. Okay. Not even close. We've never actually talked about that. So for Sandy, and I'm pretty sure I've got this right, Robin Williams. Oh, wow. Actually, no. Really? Yeah. You don't think Robin Williams is funny? I love Robin no, Williams. No, obviously you don't. But that's not my favorite. Who do you think is, who's your favorite? Jeff Dunham. Who the hell is Jeff Dunham? He's the puppet master. You mean like the the uh, the dog guy? What? No. The, 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 the insult clown dog dude. Insult clown. Yeah, dog that you, you know you guys know who I'm talking about. The one that looks like a Doberman. That's just like the says all the horrible stuff. That no. guy. I don't even know who Jeff Dunham is. Jeff Dunham is a ventriloquist comedian. No. He's got, um, oh my God, he's got so many. You know, Ahmed. 
I killed you. I have you no know? idea. Oh, no. man. No. Really? Okay, <laughs> what else we got? Okay, favorite season. Okay, for Sandy. Wow. Um, and don't say season of the witch. <laughs> All right, for Sandy, I said spring because she hates winter and she probably likes it when it's over and spring is here. Summer. Well, I was going to say summer, but that would have been summer. easy. And you said fall. Fall. Fall is so fall. easy because fall is when football season starts. And, and all of the TV shows, it used to be when the rugby season would start. Well, that's not why I thought it was fall. It's why? because of the colors. They're all your favorite colors. <laughs> When, Stop hey, it's just when football season starts and all the all the new TV shows start and all of that. That's why oh. I like fall. Oh well, okay. There you go. At least I got it right. Okay. Favorite movie. Favorite movie. Oh my goodness. For you, you're not a huge favorite movie fan. Wow. I can't even hazard a guess for you. Um, There's one movie that is my all-time favorite movie that I can watch over and over and over and over and over again. This is a huge guess on my part. Because I don't know if she's actually seen this movie or not. But it's the kind of movie she would really like. I said Willow. Oh, that's long ago. No. no. What is it? <clears throat> Twister. Oh, of course! Now that she says that, I do know that. She's seen it like a million times. Oh, shit. I knew that. As soon as she said that, I knew that. You're not going to get this right. Okay. Shawshank Redemption. No. No? No. Really? No. No. Wow. I thought for sure I had that. No. Not even close. My favorite movie of all time is Enter the Dragon. Bruce Lee movie. Oh. I pay actually paid to go to the movie in I the guess movie I theater. Said Apocalypse now. But. Eighteen times to go see that movie when it first came out. Oh. I have seen that movie. Well, that's way more, more than, than any other movie. I can literally, when the movie starts, I can say all of the dialogue at the same time as all of the actors. I know that movie inside out and backwards. Um, Any of his movies were dubbed over, so... It's not like Enter the Dragon was the only movie of his that wasn't dubbed over. And I've seen... <laughs> I'm a Bruce Lee fanatic, like, to the nines. And that's my favorite movie. But Apocalypse Now was also a good guess. It is, I think... If I had to say what is the greatest movie that's ever made, I would say Apocalypse Now. Yeah, okay. I watched that movie at the Stanley Theater in Vancouver. And... I was in awe. When that movie ended, I sat there in the movie theater after everybody pretty much left for 20 minutes after the movie ended with my jaw on the floor. I just was blown away by how that movie totally took me into the middle of the Vietnam War and gave me a perspective that I never knew of what that was really like for those guys. And the acting was incredible. Like Marlon Brando may have won the Academy Award, which was a travesty because Martin Sheen, Martin Sheen almost died filming that movie. Mm -hmm. And that was the greatest acting performance of all time. Martin Sheen in Apocalypse Now, a great movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, favorite smell or scent? Favorite smell or scent for you? Um. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> I hope I get this right. Because if if I'm wrong, okay, go ahead. I said cooking meat. Yeah, the barbecue is probably my favorite <laughs> smell. When that, Every time I cook. When dinner. that barbecue's going, it's like oh my god. So. <laughs> So for me, I said 
her favorite smell is either my aftershave or body smell. Because when I put my smellies on and I come up and I, I give her a hug, she's just, she just always goes, Oh, you smell good. <laughs> and, oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh. So, would that be right? Okay, I'll give it yeah, to you. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. <laughs> she loves that stuff. She's just like, Oh, you smell good. And then she gets all frisky and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, there you go. Okay, what is your favorite decade? Yeah, that's easy for you. So easy for Sandy. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take my point now. Because <laughs> in Sandy's case, it's the 80s. Sandy's is an 80s girl through and through. Yeah. There's no question about it. I'm going to say the 50s. Wrong. I'm only saying that because of the big bands and stuff. I wasn't born in the 50s. The answer is the 70s. I was going to say 70s, but then I thought he was going to say, I'm not a disco guy. No, it's nothing. The 70s had the greatest the music classic that, rock. that yeah. ever came out. By far was in the 70s. You think of all of the greatest albums, Dark Side of the Moon, Machine Head, um, they all came out in the 70s. The yeah. 70s was also a golden time of um, tremendous prosperity. Most industries like fishing, logging and things were booming in the 70s. People were working. People had money. Housing was affordable. Um, all the houses were wall-to-wall -wall carpet, which is really important for a carpet cleaner. Uh, <laughs> mom stayed home. People didn't get divorced. Like the 70s was a great time. And, you know, for me personally, I graduated in the 70s. I got working, making really good money in the 70s. And life was good. And then the 80s came along, Sandy's favorite decade. And the world went to shit. We had 22%. Uh, interest rates on mortgages, people lost their homes, there was tremendous economic turmoil. So the 80s for me, personally, I was, was a, a, I a really now? tough time. But no, the 70s for me was a golden era and most people that mm -hmm. were out in the 70s would, would probably yeah. agree. They had great, some of the greatest movies of all time were made in the 70s. Cool. The, you know, The Exorcist was in the 70s. The, there was all the Dirty movies Harry movies too. Uh, were in the 70s. So, you there, know... There was good movies in the 80s. Yeah, too. the 80s had some good stuff, but the 80s were just just bad economically for a lot of people. I mean, yeah. it, was, it was a decade of greed and, uh, you know, like um, a lot of bad shit happened in the 80s. So I would say the 70s. Drugs. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Um, in the 70s, we had no sexually transmitted diseases. People yeah. only worried about... Back in the 70s, you only worried about getting girls pregnant. Nobody cared about you're going to die if you had sex and stuff. So yeah, yeah. 70s, good time. Um, I'm also going to omit the last one, which is favorite YouTube channel. Because we know what it is. It's Tales from the Carpet Trail. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No. It would um, be Crochet A. That's our favorite YouTube channel. <laughs> um... I have so many different channels that I love, and I'm not going to pigeonhole it into one. Um, so, and I don't think that George really has one. Um, cause Crochet he watches, A. He watches, <laughs> he watches everything, like different UFC channels, different fight channels. Different, you know, it's like you can't really pigeonhole it. Oh. But YouTube is awesome. I've discovered YouTube because I can now I can have it on my smart TV. Mm -hmm. And now with um, everything that's going on in the world, there's no live sports or no anything. But yeah. if you go on to YouTube, you can find, um, you know, good old wrestling from back in the 80s when it was more exciting to watch. Or I've started watching this thing with the uh, the World Arm Wrestling League and we're watching... Stuff like that. World's Strongest Man. Um, yeah. There's classic, classic fights. Classic boxing. There's um, YouTube. And I even wonderful. found um, 
Tales from the Dark Side. It's some really cool old shows that I used to watch. Yeah. I finally got the show, get Sandy to watch the greatest Tales from the Dark Side of all time, The Shadow Man. You guys have got to see that. I am the Shadow Man from under someone else's bed. <laughs> anyway, so do we have a final score? Oh, um. I got 12, right? 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 11. He beat me by I win. one. I know my girl more than she knows me. Uh, <laughs> you cheat. <laughs> you think they know you, but... I think we... I'm, I'm actually really shocked at how many... She was surprised at some of the answers that I got. Yeah. That, I was surprised right. at some of the answers that she missed. Like, yeah. like the lasagna one. And I should have got Twister right because she has told me... Many times, the, twist, the Twister is her favorite movie that she's seen it a million and times. And it's his favorite dance. I am the Twisting King. He is. He I, really multiple is. time World Twister champion. I have trophies, a wall of trophies. He he went and did the twist at um, an old friend's wedding one time. and The crowd went wild. I was shocked. Number one, I was shocked because he was in dress pants and he got pretty much down to the ground twisting and I thought he's going to rip the ass out of his pants and he didn't. For I such a massive shocked. individual, I actually moved quite well. I was shocked. I was like, I, mm, it was kind of sexy. It's almost as good as my karaoke. <laughs> okay. so Which I unfortunately... <laughs> um, no we, one's we've, see now. we've kept our onesies. <laughs> yeah, we've we've kept our bumblebee onesies in yeah. case we ever do have our Stitch <laughs> Fest. I'm hoping yeah. that, I think we're both hoping that the world is going to go back to normal soon. Um, yeah. So we did not get cancellation insurance on our airfare because we were positive we were going to go to Stitch Fest. Yeah. We had no idea the world was going to go to shit on us. So yeah. we do have a one year credit. Um, to use the airfare, they will not give us a refund. So we're hoping yeah. that maybe we could schedule it again. Um, you know, September, October would be a good time, even though it's winter in Niagara Falls, but um, still it would be a good time work-wise to travel. Yeah. Um, if we do reschedule it within the calendar year and we can use the flight up, we definitely would like to do that because yeah. we don't really have anywhere else to go um, in Canada in the next year. We don't have... Yeah family break in the sea or anything crazy like that that we would want to do so um, well, you could always take me to Niagara Falls anyway and you know have a Niagara little, Falls little is a thing. very big wedding destination oh, shh. don't say the devil I've told, I've told her that there's like drive through wedding chapels <laughs> in Niagara Falls you you drive through you get married and you get on the maid of the mist you go under the falls <laughs> and you take the plunge together yeah, no. That's that's how it goes. So no, no. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Um, it was a little bit of an eye opener for. Thanks for listening. Yeah. I'm sorry that my last carpet trail was a, a bit of a downer. I didn't mean oh. it to be, to be depressing. We're all trying to do the best we can in, in the stuff that's going on. I'm trying so hard to work and and keep bringing in money so that Sandy can buy yarn. It's tough, <laughs> with, even though she's not. <laughs> Even though yeah. she's on a yarn band, she's bought like 50 <laughs> balls of yarn this week, so... I can't help it. Thank, if the ban is ever lifted, I guess we're in big trouble. I can't but, uh, help it. It's like, anyway, that's it's our Q&A. Yeah. Once so, again, I won. Yeah. Still undefeated. Yeah. Um, that's why I was on the debat team. <laughs> Okay, so I may be a writer, but that's what spell check is for. Yeah, yeah I suck yeah. at spelling, so anyway. And remember, right. it's not too late to order your copy of Lydia. Oh, gosh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we're going to say goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs> yeah.